Welcome inside Mopitzi Hall for some women's volleyball action today on a rainy Sunday afternoon in Ottawa. It's not quite barbecue weather, but the GGs are looking for some fireworks today. Looking for their first win of the season, having dropping their first two matches against the University of Montreal and Université Laval. They take on the UQTR Patriot, also 0-2 on the year following defeats at McGill and against Laval. Slightly different starting lineup for the GGs here today as Danica Rabair starts in place of Alana Leung. And she will get today's first serve. The float from Rabair, good pass by the Patriot. Right side swing, blocked by Odigi, good continuation by the Patriot. Now a left side swing, another good pickup by the GGs. Langevin goes to the left side for Odigi, good roll shot, great pickup by the Libero. Now a pipe ball from the Patriot, excellent dig by Bristow. Langevin to McKay in the middle, and another good dig by the Patriot's Libero. McKay to Langevin, set or dump, put back over, free ball for the GGs. Langevin, C ball for McKay, and there's a kill from Grace McKay. Off the arms of Marie-Pierre Gauvin and out the back. Good first point by the GGs. Great momentum starter there. Always nice to start these games with a nice long rally, get everyone involved, make sure no one's cold. Looks like everyone on the court there for the GGs touched the ball. Same for the Patriot side, but it was the GGs who came out with the game's first point. And an ace from Danica Rabair. A bullet into the back corner. Lions person says it's right on the line, painted. Rabair has the first ace of the game for the GGs. Another serve from Rabar. Great pass by the Patriot. Dump over, good dig by Danica Rabar. Tip over by Janine McKay. Forces the Patriot out of system. Good swing out of the back there. And a kill by the Patriot. That was number two, Noemi Boulris. Tricky play there, forcing the setter out of system on a great serve by Rabar. But put the hitter in a good position to make a play and paints the corner. Now it's number five, Emilie de Blois, to serve for the Patriot. Her serve off the arms of Grace McHale and does go off the roof. An ace for de Blois. And the Patriot have tied this game up 2-2 early in the first set. Getting those serve receptions have always been crucial for the GGs. Their most efficient hitting options have traditionally been their middles. And Really only able to run those off good passes. Just like that to Janae McKay. And there's a kill for McKay. Great pass from Grace McKay. Langevin sets up a ball for Janae McKay. Finds a little tip shot into the corner in position two. Pardon me, in position four. And finds a hole. Now it's Maxime Langevin, GG setter, back to serve. Her float, tight pass by the Patriot. They're on a slide. Blocked, but onto the GG side, off the hands and Audrey Odigi and out. There's a side out kill from the Patriot, number 19, Marie-Pierre Gauvin. On serve receive, you will traditionally see teams having their left side and right side hitters flip flop, and in that case, Marie-Pierre Gauvin gets the kill on the right side. The spin serve, and a good one. There's an ace by the Patriot. So number four, Rachel Saint-Amand, the setter with a spin serve. Caught the GGs off guard a little bit, but a great ace nonetheless. Another spinner from Saint-Amand. And this time a great pass from Michaela Jones. Langevin goes to the right side for Odigi. And there's a kill for Audrey Odigi. Muscles it through the block. Left side had her hands up, but couldn't quite press enough. Strength of Odigi a little bit too much there. And Otto will take back the point, take back the serve, and tie this. Gigi's will look for some more efficient left side hitting today. In their loss against Laval yesterday, both of their left sides were around 0% on the hitting efficiency. And this time, a kill from the Patriot. Right side again, Marie-Pierre Gauvin off the arms, this time of Bristow and out. Good kill there from the Patriot. Not trying to do too much with that ball, just looking for arms. Finds the side out. Served by the Patriot, popped up by Odigi. 
Jones sets Bristow on the left side and her ball into the tape. No block touch. So the GGs lose the point there. Patriot, good block, but ball into the tape regardless. Serve for the Patriot is number six, Laurence Flamand. She leads the team in kills with 22 on the season, hitting out a 141 clip. Looks to do it from the service line here for the Patriot as well. Float serve and a good one. Well popped up by Odigi. Langevin goes to the left side for Bristow. Smart roll shot. Forces the Patriot out of system. Free ball given over. McKay picks it up. Langevin to Bristow on the left side once again. Good recovery by the Patriot. Out of system ball goes to the right side for Gauvin. Her tip over. Well dug by Jones. Langevin gives a pipe ball to Odigi. And there's a kill from Audrey Odigi. Miscommunication between saint Amand and Flamand in the back row. And Audrey Odigi finds a kill in between the left side and the setter. Looked like the Patriot weren't sure who's going to take that ball there, and it ended up being neither of them. Good kill there from Odigi. Now Janine McKay on serve for Ottawa. Float serve and a bullet. Left side ball for the Patriot, and a kill there by Noemi Boulris. Block tandem of Grace McHale and Danica Rabaille, just not quite closed enough. And they find a hole. It's now Ariane Marois, the middle, back to serve for the Patriot. The Patriot, a little more undersized as far as our sec teams go, but still with enough height there as the middle, 5'11 on the serve, but a good kill from Bristow on the left side. Great side out by the GGs there. Always nice to get that on first ball and not let your opponent have the time to get an attack going back. 7-7 seven, seven now early on in the first set as Grace McHale steps back to serve for the GGs. Good float serve by McHale. Forces the overpass. GGs unfortunately unable to do anything with it. Rob Danica Rabaya's block was picked up and a kill out of the middle there for the Patriot. Always tough on those tight ball plays. Rabaya has to go straight up because if the setter tries to set that and it goes off her hands, that would be a Patriot point. Good job by UQTR to pick that one back up and get the kill. And there's an ace by the Patriot, number 19, Marie-Pierre Gauvin, with the ace off Michaela Jones of the GGs. And UQTR opens up a multi-point lead here, 9-7 in the first set. GGs looking to bounce back and get a stop. Another serve from Gauvin. Goes at Odigi this time, and a great pass by Odigi. Bristow on the left side, and there's a kill for Danae Bristow. Off the arms once again of Cameron O'Grady, the libero, and another kill for Danae Bristow. Great pass there by Odigi. Gave setter Maxime Langevin all three hitting options, and Langevin smartly chose to get a one-on-one -on -one with Bristow on the left side. She puts it away, makes no mistake. Now the serve from Bristow finds the tape. Missed serve there by the GGs will be a Patriots point. GG's serving has been a strong point of their season early on. After their first game, they were leading the RSEC in total aces despite having playing multiple fewer games than other teams. Noemi Boulris, the server for the Patriot. Great pass by Grace McHale. Middle ball for Rabar, well picked up by Gauvin. Set her dump, but it doesn't go over the net. Rachel saint amand tried to fool the GG's there, be a little sneaky, but her setter dump finds tape. Falls back on their side. Gigi's point. Janine McKay checks back in as Michaela Jones steps off, while Danica Rabaille steps back to serve. Good serve from Rabaille. saint amand goes to the slide. Emilie de Blois there with the kill. Looks like she fooled Rabaille there. Just drops it short over the block. Not much the middle can do about that one. Smart play there by the Patriot. Just a little tip on the slide play can be extremely difficult as playing defense in position five, you're expecting a big swing, typically deep in the court, and Debra just manages to mix it up a little bit. Mikhail picks up the serve. Bristow rolls one over, but it's long. Hitting error on the pipe swing there by the GGs. And the Patriot have their biggest lead of the match now, up by 12 to nine in the first set. Emilie Debra the middle on serve for the Patriot. Float serve and a good one. Picked up by Odigi. Langevin gives it back to her. Swing by Odigi, but it's just long, says the lines person. 
Looked like it might have been close to the line, but just long. And the Patriot will take another point. 13-9 their advantage now. Lionel Woods, head coach for the GGs, clearly unhappy with what he's seeing early on as while trailing 13-9, the GGs call their first timeout. Coming out of the Gigi's first timeout of this first set, it will be Emilie Debrois on serve once again for the Patriot. It's been a little bit of a slower start to the season than the Gigi's were anticipating. A great preseason run, especially in their own preseason tournament right here at Montpensier Hall. Saw them come in second, falling in the finals of the McMaster Marauders. But an 0-2 start leaves them looking for a big kill like that. But well picked up by the Patriot and a kill on the other side. This time it's Laurence Flamand. Bristow had a nice swing there, but a good dig by the Patriot. And it's Laurence Flamand, the left side for the Patriot, who manages to put it away off the arms of Langevin and out. At just 5'7", Laurence Flamand, the high flyer, leads the Patriots in kills early on this season. Great pass by McKay, slide to McKay, and there's a kill from Janae McKay, her first of the match. Pardon me, her second of the match. But a great slide run there by McKay. A great pass by the GGs. Langevin finds her, makes no mistake on the kill. Taking advantage of the middle being the passer in position five, goes off her arms and out. Langevin now on serve for the GGs. Great float serve, puts the Patriot out of system. Pipe attack, good dig by Michaela Jones. Langevin to the left side for Odigi. Good touch there by Patriot libero Cameron O'Grady, but it's a kill from Audrey Odigi. And a much needed one for the GGs as they look to get some steals here on their own serve and cut into this Patriot lead. It's been a good job of by Langebain so far early in this match of mixing up her hitting options. A lot of middle balls, a lot of left side, a lot of pipe as well. It's looked to get the right side more involved early on now. It's Grace McHale was second on the team in kills last season. Good dig by Jones and it leads to a kill by the GGs. Once again, it's McKay in the middle. Great dig by Jones, good set by Langevin, and McKay makes no mistake. Gigi's have been strong on defense early on. Multiple big digs by Jones in the last couple of points have led to some momentum gaining kills. Langevin with the serve again. saint Amat goes to the left side for Farama, and a good dig by Langevin. Bristow with the pipe swing and finds the kill. Off the arms of Ariane Marois, the middle and falls on the side of the Patriot. Great kill there by Bristow and a good find by Langevin. And now as the GGs have crawled back and trailed by just one, head coach of the Patriot, Marie-Christine Mondor, calls timeout. The GGs have done very well on this recent serving run by Maxime Langevin of really mixing up their hitting options, getting everyone involved, and it's led to a series of points in a row, their longest run of the match. They trail now just by a score of 14 to 13 in this first set. Good pass on the serve by Langevin. Sea ball attack from Gauvin, but her swing into the tape, point GGs, and they tie up this first set at 14 points apiece. 
typically teams can get some of their best serving runs with their setters on serve. Three swingers in the front row for the GGs, Mikheo, DG, and Mikhail, three of their best right now. And an ace from Langevin, that'll help too. And the GGs have the lead back, 15-14. Nice celebration there, a bowling style by the GGs bench. Cameron Giddens leading that one. GGs clearly excited about having the lead back. Another serve from Langevin. Good float serve, tight pass. Setter dump, picked up by the GGs, free ball given back over. Party ball swing was well dug by Jones. Now McHale on the right side, finds some court. Great smart shot there by Grace McHale, rolling it into position six over the block in front of the digger and six back. And the GGs having won five points in a row, pardon me, six points in a row, now have a 16 to 14 lead. Patriot mixing up their Serve, receive here, pinching out Gauvin. saint Amand to the left side for Flamand. And there's a kill for Laurence Flamand, just out of the reach of Michaela Jones. Great swing there by the left side, managing to put it in between the blockers, out of the reach of Michaela Jones. And it'll be Rachel saint Amand, the server, now back for the Patriot. Her spin serve. Well passed by Jones, tight ball for Langevin, sets McKay in the middle, blocked, but a good pickup by Bristow. Jones will set the out of ball, out of system ball to Grace McHale, and she finds the kill. Ariane Marois on the ground after that one, might have landed on the foot of Marie-Pierre Gauvin. Trainer's coming out to make sure she's okay. That right knee of hers is already taped up. Hopefully it's not a re-aggravation of an existing injury. Gigi's there, excited to win the point, but immediately went back into the huddle once they saw the injury. Never something you want to see. Marois getting up with help from the trainers. Crowd applauding her effort, but it does appear to be that right leg. Substitution for the Patriot. It'll be number 11, Melody Gagnon, checking in. Always an awful thing to see. We'll hope that Ariane Marois is okay. Audrey Odigi, after the medical timeout, now back on surf for the GGs. Good float serve. Saint Amand goes to the left side for Flamand. Good block by the GGs. They get a party ball, and McKay swing popped up in the back row. Patriot will get a free ball over. Jones to Langevin. Go to the middle again for McKay, and this time she makes no mistake. Huge bounce there in the middle from Janae McKay. No chance for the Patriot to pick that one up. And a huge momentum point for the GGs. They lead 18 to 15 here in this first set. Being down as much as 14 to 10, they've gone on an eight to one run and have opened up a three point lead late in this first set. Another good serve by Odigi. saint Amand goes to the middle. And this time it's Marie-Pierre Gauvin, the lefty, Typically playing right side, but this time swings out of the middle after the injury to Marois. Manages to find a kill. Really tricky angle to pick up there for the GGs on the block. Typically middles are right-handed swingers and having a lefty in there just changes ever so slightly where you need to put your shoulders. GGs will look to make the adjustment here, seeing that Gauvin will continue to swing in the middle. Serve picked up by Odigi. Bristow set the out ball to McHale. Great serve, great set, pardon. Right side ball to Gauvin. Langevin pops it up. McKay sets McHale once again. Good pick up in the back row by Flamand. saint Amand goes to the left. Good pick up by Jones on the swing from Boulris. Now Bristow sends an out of system ball over. Tight pass. saint Amand goes to the back row on a pipe swing. Good dig by Langevin. Jones to McHale. And her swing goes just wide. Point to the Patriot. Grace McHale missing just a little bit on that outside corner. Good rally by both sides there. Lots of good digs by Bulris and by uh, Jones of the GGs. 
And now it will be Laurence Flamand back to serve. Her serve goes long. Good call there by Jones. Good read by the Gigi's overall there. And the lead now for the Gigi's back to two, 1917. Janae McKay on serve. Substitution for the Patriot. As number three, Suleyma Massaoud checks in for Marie Pierre Gauvin. McKay with the float. Good ball, great pass by the Patriot. saint Amand goes into the middle for Massaoud, but a good dig by the Gigi's. Unfortunately, just out of the reach of Bristow after the dig from Janae McKay. And that'll be a point to the Patriot. Trois Rivières looks like they've mixed up the rotation a little bit, running Massaoud out of the middle for that point after she subbed out the right side, Marie-Pierre Gauvin. They run a few split offenses there. We'll see what they run here. Serve, passed up by Bristow, middle swing for Rabail. She tips it over, puts the setter out of system. Now a tip over from the Patriot, well dug by Langevin, good read there. Now Bristow swings out of system, finds some hands, but picked up by the Patriot. saint Amand with a high setter dump over, great dig by Langevin. Jones to McHale, swing, blocked, but picked up by Odigi. Langevin goes to the left side for Bristow. And no block touch, says the official. That'll be a point to the Patriot following a long rally and they've tied this first set at 19-19. Great job by Bristow overall in that rally, adjusting to some difficult balls, rolling good shots in, but her last one finds tape and rolls just wide. Patriot's point. Gigi's maybe saying ball don't lie on that one. Missed serve following a tightly contested point. And the Gigi's lead again, 20-19, with Grace McHale stepping back to serve. Langevin, Rabair, and Bristow in the front row for the Gigi's, looking to get a big block here. But won't be able to miss serve by the Gigi's. That was Grace McHale. And Pat Patriot tied the setup once again. 20 to 20 now. As Suleyma Massaoud back to serve. Her float serve. Short and dug up by Jones. Langevin to the left side for Bristow. Low pass. And she manages to find a hole on the tip. Great adjustment by Danae Bristow. Not trying to do too much with that set. Just finds a hole right in the pot. And there were no Patriots around to pick it up. Now Bristow, following her kill, will be back to serve. Jump float. Good serve. Slide attack from the Patriot, but the set is too low for Emilie de Blois. Puts it into the tape, and the Gigi's have the lead. Lead up to two now for the Gigi's, 22-20. And with the multi-point deficit, Patriot call a timeout. Gigi's will look to close this one out after the break. This first set has played out almost in the exact opposite fashion as multiple sets played out in yesterday's loss against Laval for the GGs. In both the first two sets, they had five point advantages that unfortunately they could not maintain and Laval would go on to win by 25-21 in those first two sets. This time, it was the Patriot who opened up a multi-point lead and the GGs who had the mental fortitude to storm back and take an advantage. They'll look to close this one out here, but that won't help as the miss serve from Bristow Pulls the Patriot back to within one. 22-21 now, the lead for Ottawa. Noemi Boulris, the left side, to serve for the Patriot. Her float serve finds the net as well. Free point for the GGs, and they will take it. Two-point advantage is restored, 23-21.
Janae McKay back in the front row with Langevin and Odigi as the server for the GGs is Danica Robert. Good serve by Robert. Right side ball for the Patriot. Swung on by Dablois, but it goes out. Good leave by Mikhail there. Great eyes to recognize that that ball was falling out. And the GGs have a set point now at 24 21. Looking for their first home set win of the season. And then Nicaragua will be the server. Great float. Patriot out of system. Left side ball for Flamin. And she finds the kill. Great swing there by Laurence Flamin. Off the hands of Langevin and out. Great side out by the Patriot there, despite a bit of an off pass. Saint Amand finds Flamin on the left side. And the Patriot are not dead yet in this first set. De Blois to serve. Good pass by Mikhail. Langevin goes to the middle for McKay. Free ball having to be given over by the Patriot. Jones takes it with her hands, gives it to Langevin. To the left side for Odigi. And there's the first set. Great swing, great kill by Audrey Odigi. And the GGs take the first set by a score of 25-22. Great points all around on both sides. And it's the GGs who come away victorious in this first set. We'll see you in three minutes after the break. Welcome back inside Montpetit Hall for this, the second women's volleyball home game of the year. The GGs taking on the UQTR Patriot won the first set by a score of 25 to 22, and will look to keep that momentum rolling in the second set. GGs offense was much better in that first set compared to yesterday against Laval. In the first set, they headed a 297 clip with two hitters, Janae McKay and Audrey Odigi, both hitting at 500. 
four kills, zero errors on eight attempts for McKay, and four kills, one error on six attempts for ODG. Those are great numbers that the GGs will look to keep going in this second set. First serve of the second set belongs to the Patriot, and it will be number five, the middle, Emilie de Blois. Her float serve popped up by Audrey Odigi. Left side ball from Langevin goes back to Odigi. What good pickup by the Patriot. Pipe swing from Boulris, but it goes long, no touches, and that'll be a point for the GGs to open the second set. Both teams did very well in limiting errors in the first set. Just five hitting errors for the Patriot and only, pardon, five for the GGs and only four for the Patriot. Elena Leung, the server, as she'll start the second set in favor of Danica Rabair. But a kill goes by Leung on the left side there from the Patriot. That was number six, Laurence Flamand. And Michaela Jones will check back in. The GGs have played with some different lineups early in this season. This time it's Leung who will start the second set. Good pass by Bristow off the middle. And there's a kill in the middle from Janae McKay. The spin served by Rachel saint amand well passed by Bristow and Langevin. Goes to McKay who drops it just over the block into position number four, finds the kill. With the Patriot left sides helping out on those middle attacks, that position four will be wide open for McKay all day to continue her hot hitting streak. Good serve from Langevin, but a good pass by the Patriot. They run the slide, but it finds tape off the hands of Ariane Marois, who's back in the game. Always good thing to see. But this time, her slide attack falls into the net. Marois left the first set early with an apparent leg injury, but clearly feeling better, getting up there on that swing. Langevin with another serve for the GGs. This time, Flamau with the swing. Big pickup by Jones. Left side ball for Odigi. And there's a kill from Audrey Odigi. Wow, what a great cut that was from Audrey Odigi. Seeing four hands on the double block. Cuts it right outside, almost onto the attack line. That is a gorgeous swing from Audrey Odigi. Langevin to serve once again for the GGs as they lead 4-1 to one in the second set. Drops it short this time, forces a tight pass. Good pickup by the Patriot off the party ball from McKay. And now a tip over from the Patriot, picked up by Odigi. Hildebrand rolls it in. Swing from Flamand. What a dig by Michaela Jones, but Janae McKay unable to pick it up on the middle. Great swing made by Laurence Flamand. She cut that one inside the attack line. Great job by Jones even getting a hand on it. GG's unfortunately were unable to pick that one up. Another changement made by the GG's lineup in this second set is Nicole Hildebrand starting in favor of Grace McHale. 5'11 right side will look to do some damage here for the GG's. As she led the team in blocks this season, pardon me, last season, but there's a kill from Janae McKay in the middle. After going, tipping to four a couple times, a swing to one now, mixing up her options, finding effectiveness everywhere on the court for the GGs right now. Audrey Odigi with the float serve. Picked up by the Patriot. saint amand goes to the right side for Gauvin. Good pick up by Langevin. GGs give it back over on a free ball. saint amand to the right side for Gauvin. Once again, this time another block by the GGs. But the Patriot roll one over with a good block pickup. Langevin to the middle for McKay. This time can't quite find the connection between Langevin and McKay. Her swing goes into the tape, and the Patriot will take the point. McKay's been one of the more efficient hitters for the GGs this season, but on that one, couldn't quite decide with Langevin if they're running a quick or a shoot. A bit of a miscommunication, and the point goes to the Patriot. Great pass by Odigi on serve receive. Right side swing from Hildebrand. Picked up by the Patriot off the block touch. Out of system set, but it's tight. And a stuff block there from Bristow. My God, she wrapped him up on that one. Put the hands just over, but didn't reach too much. Then as soon as the Patriot touched the ball, just dropped the hammer on him. Put that ball straight down. 6-3 lead for the GGs now with Janae McKay on serve. Float serve. 
Well placed and an ace for Janae McKay off the hands of Laurence Flamand. Big point for the GGs there. As they open up a 7-3 lead and that'll be a timeout for the Patriot early in this set with the GGs leading by four. An excellent start to the second set by the U Ottawa GGs as they lead the UQTR Patriot by a score of 7-3, having taken the first set 25-22. Cause for optimism in this match for the GGs. Janae McKay, the server once again for U Ottawa. Float serve, picked up by the Patriot, saint amand and there's an inside X swing there by the Patriot, but the swing goes out from Noemi Boulres. Bit of a trick play there, having the left side run what appears to be a middle ball. But unfortunately for the Patriot, couldn't quite find the court on that one. Tricky play and I like the idea. Execution just wasn't quite there. McKay with the float serve, but it goes just a little bit long. Serve goes out and that'll be a point to the Patriot. Number 19, Marie-Pierre Gauvin, to serve for the Patriot as they trail the GGs 8 to 4. Papers that serve over the tape. Langevin goes to the right side for Hildebrand. And a huge kill on the right side for Nicole Hildebrand over top of the block, right into position 6. No chance for Flamma to get there. A great kill from Nicole Hildebrand. The Steinbach Manitoba native now back to serve. Hildebrand's float, good serve, puts the Patriot out of system. Left side swing from Boulris, picked up by the Gigi's great touch there by Audrey Odigi. Bristow with the swing and a kill from Danae Bristow. What a sequence there from the Gigi's. Great serve by Hildebrand, forces an uncomfortable play from the Patriot. Then a great dig by Audrey Odigi there after the swing from Boulris. And Bristow finds the kill in number position six. Another serve from Hildebrand. Great serve once again. Roll shot from Boulris. Good dig by Jones. Langevin with a long run to get there. Sets up Bristow. Tips it deep looking for some hands. Can't find any and that'll be a point to the Patriot. I like the idea from there from Bristow. Recognizing that she won't be able to get a full swing on it. Trying to tip it hard into the corner. Either looking for some hands or to put in that back corner in position one. But smart by the Trois-Rivières Patriot putting the hands down and letting that ball sail out. Great pass by Odigi. Langevin runs a slide for Leung. Good dig by Gauvin. saint amand to the left side for Flamand. And a kill on the left side for Laurence Flamand. Audrey Odigi just not quite able to get to that one. And another point for the Patriot. Noemi Boulris will step back to serve. As the GGs have a lead in this second set, 10 to six. We'll look to side out and keep that lead going. Good serve by Boulres, but better pass by Odigi and a kill from Bristow once again. Great set by Langevin, nice and tight. And Bristow able to rip it down that line. Finds a hole in the gap between positions one and six. And the GGs have a five point lead. Coach Lionel Woods encouraging his team, happy with what he's seeing early in this second set. Bristow with the float. Good serve. Long run for saint Amand puts it to Flamand on the left side. Good dig by Hildebrand. Langevin goes to the left side for Odigi. And there's a kill from Audrey Odigi. Cameron O'Grady unable to get there. A great swing by Odigi. And now another timeout called by the Patriot. Gigi's lead this second set by a score of 12 to six. And Marie-Christine Mondor wants to talk things over with her team.
Another strong start to a set by the GGs as they lead 12 to 6 here in the second set, but no time to get complacent. They had leads of 12 7 and 14 10 in various points against the Laval Rouge all yesterday and went on to drop each of those sets, losing by a score of 3 0. However, having won the first set, there's definite optimism on the side of the GGs that they'll be able to continue this lead, roll on to a set victory. Cameron Giddens, the server for the GGs, substituted in after the timeout. But a kill on the left side out of the timeout from Laurence Flamand of the Patriot. Mixed up her options there. Typically, she's been swinging cross court tonight. Manages to turn it down the line, gets the kill. As mentioned, Cameron Giddens subbed in for Danae Bristow after the timeout. She'll play some defense in the back row. Good pass by Jones. And a kill from Elena Leung in the middle there. Tricky set by Langevin. I don't think anyone in the building thought that ball was going to the middle. But great play nonetheless by the Gigi's as Leung finds the hole in the pot. Something that Janae McKay, who now steps into the front row, has been doing effectively all day. Just taking what the defense is giving her, finding ways to kill. Serve from Leung and a good one. saint Amat to the left side for Flamat. Tipped over great coverage by Audrey Odigi. And now a pipe swing from Cameron Giddens. Well picked up by Cameron O'Grady. Left side ball for Flamat. Block touch by the GGs. Bit of a miscommunication there between Hildebrand and Odigi. Both went for that ball and it ricochets off their arms out of the reach of Langevin for a Patriot point. As much as it sucks for the GGs to lose that point, it's definitely not the way, not the worst way to lose a point. It's nice to see everyone on defense collapsing around that ball, looking to play defense, looking to get a dig. And speaking of digs, there's a great one from Audrey Odigi, but unfortunately set from Maxime Langevin, goes just a little bit out of her reach. Good spin serve from Rachel saint amand A lot of spin on the pass from Audrey Odigi as well, and Langevin just unable to connect with Audrey Odigi on that one. 13-9 the lead for the GGs in this second set. Another spin serve from saint amand One of the few spin servers in the RSEC, but this one finds the tape, her first miss of the afternoon. The GGs, their lead grows to five points. Maxime Langevin, setter for the GGs, will serve. Good float, barely gets over the tape. Left side ball to Flamin, cross court swing, picked up by Giddens off the block touch. McKay with a throw into position one and finds a kill. Great kill by Janae McKay, recognizing where that ball is. Power tip into position one, out of the reach of the right side and of the setter. And another point for the GGs as they lead 15 9. Good serve from Langevin, great pass by the Patriot. Middle swing there from Marie-Pierre Gauvin. And now a left side swing from Audrey Odigi. Great dig by O'Grady. Gigi's fans calling for a double touch on that ball. Gigi's with some great hustle on defense, but Giddens and Jones unable to recover that and put it back over. That'll be a point to the Patriot. Head coach Lionel Woods unhappy with the non-call there on the double by the Patriot, but nonetheless, the point will go their way as they manage to stop the bleeding and trail by five points now, 15-10, as Laurence Flamand will go back to serve. Good pass by Jones off the float serve. Left side ball to Hildebrand, and a huge kill there from Hildebrand. Off the block, off the antenna, and out. She really managed to elevate on that one and took advantage of the block with a great tool. Audrey Odigi. Second year left side for the GGs is the server. Good serve. Right side ball to Marie-Pierre Gauvin. Off the hands of Langevin and out. That'll be a point to the Patriot after a kill from Marie-Pierre Gauvin. Langevin leading the team in digs through two games on the season. Unable to pop that one up. She went off her hands and out the back. Float serve from the Patriot. Pass off the arms of Jones. Good hustle by Cameron Giddens to pop that one back up. Right side swing from the Patriot. Blocked and they'll force to give a free ball back over to the GGs. ODG tight pass to Langevin. Goes to the middle for McKay. 
Another tight ball there, and this time a block from McKay, and a point to the GGs on a double touch. Pardon me, on a lift by the Patriot, called by the head umpire. And that'll be a point to the GGs. Great job by McKay on that play. First with the party ball, then making sure the block on the overpass went straight down. Patriot did manage to pop it back up, but it was called a lift. And now McKay will serve. Good pass by the Patriot. Middle swing from Deblois. Touched by Leung, but unable to get there is Langevin on the follow-up. And that'll be a point to Trois-Rivières. 17-12 now the lead for the Gigi's, as the Patriot will make a serving substitution. It's Suleyma Massaoud checking in for Marie-Pierre Gauvin. Massaoud checked in in the first set on serve following the injury to Ariane Marois. And this time she'll step in for Gauvin. Lefty with the float serve. Good pass from Jones. Langevin goes to Leung in the middle, but set a little bit too tight, and Leung touches the net on her swing. That'll be a point to the Patriot, cutting the GG's lead down to just four points now. Massoud with another serve. Papers it over the net. Great pass from Jones. Left side ball to Giddens. Popped up by the Patriot. Pipe attack now from Flamand. Off the hands of Langevin and out the back. Great swing there from Laurence Flamand on the pipe. And Bristow will check back in for Cameron Giddens. Eight in for number three. Overall, a successful back row rotation for Cameron Giddens in her first home court time of the season. A couple good digs, lots of strong hustle plays to keep balls alive, but the arm of Denae Bristow is what the Gigi's want in the front row right now. And Langevin gives it to her. Great dig by the Patriot on a strong swing by Bristow. Good block touch by Hildebrand, but the Patriot win an impressive point there. Managing to get a huge dig by Cameron O'Grady off the swing from Bristow. Gigi's having a little huddle right now. Talking things over, trying to reset. Maybe freeze the server up a little bit. Their lead down to just two points now, 17-15. They'll look to stay strong in the second set. Good pickup by Hildebrand. Right side ball back to her. Blocked, but picked back up. Bristow goes to the middle for Leung. Bit of a joust at the net. Won by Leung. Strong play there by Leung, going up with two hands, turning that ball around the blocker. Forcing the shanked pass, and the GGs will stop the bleeding. Their lead grows back to three points, and it'll be Nicole Hildebrand to serve for the GGs. Hildebrand's float. Good pass. Slide attack from Deblois. Picked up by Langevin, but ball falls to the ground. That'll be another point for the Trois-Rivières Patriot, as Grace McHale will be a substitution for the GGs. McHale checking in in the back row for Hildebrand. Mikhail's a strong C ball option for the GGs, and Langevin will look to go to her as they try to close out the second set. Serve from Boulris finds the net from the Patriot. It's exactly what Lionel Woods wanted there, managing to slow down the tempo a little bit by using a substitution instead of its timeouts. Still has two on the set if he needs them later. And now the GGs' lead is 19 16. Bristow with the float. Forces the Patriot out of system. Flamand with a swing. Tape and off the arms of Michaela Jones. Gigi's give a free ball over following a long run from Langevin. Flamand on the left side once again, but her swing hits the antenna and out. Point to the Gigi's. A rare miss there from Laurence Flamand. But the Gigi's will take it as their lead grows now 20 to 16. Commanding four point lead for the Gigi's with Denae Bristow still on serve. Another good float serve from the second year. Right side ball to Deblois, good dig by Grace McHale. Left side swing now from Flamand, cuts it out. Cross court swing, but just wide. Gigi's happy about that one. Two consecutive misses there from Flamand. The Gigi's lead grows to five. 
some great defense in these last couple of points by the GGs, just hanging around on the points long enough. Trois Rivières Patriot have made some misses. Another good serve from Bristow. Flama, another mistake. Ball goes long. Some great serving by Bristow. Lines person initially called the ball out. Did look to be long from our angle here, but she changed her mind, putting the flag down, saying it was in. And the Trois Rivières Patriot will win the point. Not quite sure what happened there. Gigi's assistant coach is very unhappy with that call. But nevertheless, point will go to the Patriot as the score is now 21 to 17 in favor of the Gigi's. Good pass from McHale. Slide play to Leung and a kill from Elena Leung. Slide play, effective as ever for the Gigi's. Manages to find some court behind the middle. Emilie de Blois finds a point for the Gigi's. Big momentum point to come back from that one. Especially after a lost point on a disagreement with the official. Great to bounce back and get that win point. Dump from saint Amand picked up by Mikhail. Langevin goes to the middle for McKay, but a block by the Patriot. Ariane Marois stuffs Janay McKay. Keeps the Patriot. Close in this set, 22-18 the lead for the GGs. Great play there on the single block by Marois. And now it's saint Amand the spinner. Into the net, GGs take the point, 23-18 now their lead. Needing just two more to close out this second set as Maxime Langevin will serve. GGs have done a good job of taking advantage of the Patriots' mistakes in the second set, especially last four or five points. Good pass by the Patriot. Left side swing from Flamand. This time a kill from Laurence Flamand. Off the arms of Denae Bristow, up into the basketball nets in the ceiling. Great kill there from Flamand, avoiding the block, putting it just beside the body of Denae Bristow, and great swing there from the left side. Flama following her kill with the float serve. Great pass from Bristow. Langevin goes to the right side for Odigi. Swing goes long. No touch. Ball goes just long. That's a point for the Patriot. Odigi, a left side, but on the rotation where the server, pardon, where the setter has just served. Left sides will swing on the right side. Gigi's looking for a side out here, leading 23-20. Good float serve, great pass from Bristow. Left side ball out to McHale. Picked up by Odigi off the block touch. Left side ball to McHale once again, this time tipped. Picked up by the Patriot. Right side swing. Good dig from Langevin. Jones sets the out of system ball. McHale forced to give a free ball over. Now a right side swing from the Patriot. McKay with a good pickup following the block touch. And Odigi with a right side ball once again, good dig. Blocked by McHale, but the ball continues in play. Good pickup by Jones. Langevin scrambles to find Odigi. Rolled in. Off the arms of O'Grady. Flamma puts it out. Boulris with the swing. Now Langevin goes to McKay in the middle, and she finds some court. Huge point there for the GGs. Lots of scrambling on both ends. But in the end, it's Langevin to McKay to the ground. Looked like... Wasn't 100% confidence in what their play call was there. But McKay manages to find the tip, find some court, and put the GGs at set point up 24-20. Odigi with the serve. Good pass by O'Grady. Middle ball from the Patriot, and a kill there in the middle by Ariane Marois. Just out of the outstretched arms of Audrey Odigi, and the Patriot stay alive in the second set. 24-21, the lead for the GGs. And Lionel Woods looking to ice the server, calls timeout.
set point here for the GGs late in the second set, leading the Trois Rivières Patriot by a score of 24 to 21. Serving for the Patriot is Ariane Marois, following her big kill out of the middle. Gigi's looking to put the second set away. Good pass from Odigi. Langevin to the left side for Bristow. And that will do it for the second set. Great swing from Danae Bristow over the arms of the block into position six. And they take the second set by a score of 25 to 21. After the break, Gigi's will look to put this match away in three sets. Welcome back to Montpetit Hall. You Ottawa GGs leading the Trois Rivières Patriot two sets to none on a rainy Sunday afternoon. Looking to close this one out in three sets. Looking for their first win of the season, as are the Patriot, but it's the GGs with the commanding 2-0 lead as we start the third set with Elena Leung on serve. Out of system ball, long run there for saint Amand. And Flamand's swing goes into the net. Point Gigi's to open up the, start, the third set. Good float serve by Leung there. Forced the Patriot into a bit of an uncomfortable out of system position. saint Amand had a long run there and not able to give Flamand a good ball. Leung with another float serve. Good pass by the Patriot. Slight attack from Dubois. Off the arms of Bristow and out. And there's a kill for the Uquitaire Patriot. Their first point of this third set. De Blois' fifth kill on the day, second on the team. Laurence Flamand leads the Patriot through three sets with 12 kills. Float serve there. Long run for Langevin. Has to give a free ball over. Good block touch by McKay in the middle to slow down that ball. Now Odigi on the left side. What a kill from Audrey Odigi. Blew it right by De Blois. No chance for her to get there. And Gigi's bench with another big celebration following that point. Maxime Langevin 
Back to serve for the GGs. 27 assists through two sets for the GG setter. Puts a good set in. And there's a block from Janae McKay off the left side swing of Laurence Flamand. Big block from McKay. The GG's 3-1 lead now in this third set. Blanche made a serve once again. Good floater. Free ball over for the GG's. Langevin takes it. Jones will set the other system. ODG on the left side. And there's a kill from Audrey ODG. This time off the block of off the block and then off the arms of Noemi Boulris. Maxime Langevin will keep her serving run going. Second set started in almost an identical way with another long serving run from the GG setter. Good pass from the Patriot. Saint Amand goes to the right side for Marois, but a good dig by Bristow. Mikhail forced to give a free ball over. Saint Amand runs the slide once again for Marois. This time a good pickup by Jones. Free ball over. Good dig on the party ball by Bristow. Left side swing from ODG and a kill from Audrey ODG. Manages to find the waterfall off Saint Amand and off of Marois. Down onto the Patriot side. And another kill early in this third set for Audrey ODG. Six kills through two sets for Odigi, but at least two already here in this third set. Now a pipe attack by Boulres. Good dig by Jones. Langevin goes to the right side for Mikhail. Long run for the Patriot, but unable to save it after a few good touches. Another point to the GGs. 6-1 lead. They've opened up now early in this third set. Fans are loving it. Some great defense and better offense has led to these kills by the GGs. Saint Amand, another slide for Marois. This time her swing finds the tape and another point for the GGs. 7 1 now the advantage, and head coach Mondal calls timeout for the UQTR Patriot. Gigi's with a 7-1 lead following the Patriot timeout. And it's Maxime Langevin to serve once again. Her float serve, well placed. saint Amand to the left side for Flamand. And this time a kill for the Patriot. Langevin unable to reach high enough to pick that one up. Good kill there from Laurence Flamand. 7-2 now the lead for the Gigi's. They'll look to get it back with a side out. Rachel Saint-Amand, the server for the Patriot. Her spin serve. Well passed by Jones. Langevin goes to the right side for ODG. And there's a third kill of the set for Audrey ODG. She's been leading the GG's offense here in this third. And now gets a chance to go back to serve as well. Great pass there by Michaela Jones. Can't be understated, especially with the spinners. Don't want to pass them too tight for your setter. Kept that perfectly, but one to two feet off the net. Langevin had all her options. Gave it to her hot hand. Audrey Odigi with a big kill to get the GG's lead to 8-2. Bit of an issue with the antennas. Umpires take some time to figure that out. But now it's Odigi with the serve. Good floater. And an ace from Audrey Odigi. Splits the defense between Masaoud and Flamand. And an ace from Audrey Odigi extends the Gigi's lead now to 9 2.
float from Odigi. This time passed by Flamin. Left side ball goes back to her, but a block by the GGs. The combination of McKay and McHale. That's a tongue twister. And the GGs with a big point, eight point lead now, leading 10 2 as Haven Fournier will come in to serve for Audrey Odigi. Her first points as a GG here at Montpetit Hall. And a substitution made by the Patriot as well on the play. Volris out, Gauvin in. Fournier's serve. Into the net. Point to the Patriot. Tough coming in cold in the third set and trying to serve right away, but Fournier will stay in the game and play some defense, maybe get a pipe swing or two. The GGs have a comfortable 10-3 lead in this third set. Laurence Flamand, the left side. The serve for the Patriot. Good pass by Jones. Langevin goes to the middle for McKay. And there's another kill from Janae McKay. Extends her team leading 10th kill of the match. Always nice to get double digits. And the GG's up 11-3. Front row of the GG's, Leung, McHale, and Bristow. Some tall bodies at the net for the GG's and they'll look to get a stop right here with a big block. Long run for saint amand roll shot over from Gauvin. Good pick up by Fournier. Langevin to McHale, tip over. Bit of an awkward play there and a double touch, maybe a lift, yes, a lift on the Patriot, kind of rolled off the body of Masaoud as she went for the dig, and a point for the GGs. Masaoud disagreed with the call, but it did appear to be the right one. And now Janae McKay will serve once again. Good float. Gauvin pops it up, saint Amand to the right side for Masaoud. Dig goes off the arms of Fournier and up into a basketball net. That'll be a point to the Patriot and a kill from Massaud. Ariane Marois, the middle now, to serve for the Patriot as the GGs lead this set 12 to 4. Mikhail Jones and Bristow, the passing line for the GGs. Good serve, great pass by Mikhail. Langevin gives it back to her and a tip there from Mikhail finds the floor. Great smart kill there from Grace McHale, recognizing that the middle, Marois, was playing defense in position five, catching her out of position, and putting some points on the board for the GGs. McHale was second on the team in points scored last year for the GGs, and will look to continue her prowess this year. Second team all-star, pardon, second team all-RSEC last year was McHale. But this time a kill in the middle from Emilie de Blois, and that'll be a point to the Patriot. Following the departure of Avery Hughes, Mikhail stepping into a bit more of a leadership role with the team this season. One of the only true seniors on the team. Now a substitution for the Patriot as number 10, Florence servant Duga will step in for the Patriot. Her float serve, well passed by Mikhail. Langevin, slide from Leung, and there's another kill for Elena Leung. Off the hands of the left side block and out. Gigi's dominating this third set, up 14-5. Danae Bristow in on serve. She's gone on a few lengthy serving runs, especially towards that end of that second set. Another good serve from Bristow. Middle ball, blocked by Leung. Continuation by the Patriot. Now a right side swing from De Blois. Picked up. Langevin goes to the left side for Fournier. The rookie puts it just long, and that'll be a point to the Patriot. Lionel Woods looking for a block touch call, but will not get one. Serve now for the Patriot belongs to Marie-Pierre Gauvin. Float serve, passed up by Bristow. Pipe swing from McHale. Good dig by the setter. 
but it falls. Miscommunication in the back row between Gauvin and O'Grady. And despite the dig from Stefan Zuga, the Patriot can't get the ball back over the net. Point to the Gigi's as they make a substitution now. Dani Rabair in for Elena Leung, and she'll step back to serve. Couple aces on the day already for Rabair. Let's see if she can do it again for the Gigi's. Float serve. Left side ball to Flama. Big block by the Gigi's. McKay and Langevin this time the combination and a huge point for the GGs there. They are rolling here in this third set, up 16-6. Danny Carabayer to serve once again for the GGs. Good serve last time. Forced the Patriot to go to the left side. And McKay read it all day. This time a tight pass on the Patriot, but a good one. Right side swing. Good pickup by Fournier after the block touch. And now she rolls it into position five. Good pickup by O'Grady. Right side ball for the Patriot. This time a tip. Langevin picks it up. Rabair sets the out of system ball. Mikhail rolls it over. Good pickup by Gauvin in the back row. Rabair passes the free ball. Langevin goes to the left side for Fournier. And there's a kill for Haven Fournier. Her first kill as an Ottawa GG. And the bench and the coaches are loving it. GG's lead by a score of 17 to 6 in the third set. True domination here in the third as the Patriot will make a double sub. Combination of Massaoud and saint Amand checking back in for Poiré and Servant du Gars. Another serve here for Dani Carabère. And a great one. Now a slide attack, but a huge block from Fournier. There's her first university block. Great rotation here from the rookie. And a huge block there. Standing at just 5'7", manages to get all the way up. Gets a stuff on the right side. Narabair with the float. Another good serve from Dani Carabair. Left side swing. Good pick up by Mikhail. Fournier forced to give a free ball over. Massaud to saint Amand. Into the back row for Gauvin. Good dig by Bristow. Langevin to McKay. Just out of the reach of Janay McKay on the shoot. Point will go to the Patriot. And that will end Dani Carabair's serving run. But another three points on the board for the GGs on that serving run. And they extend the lead 18 to seven now. Emily de Blois back to serve for the Patriot. Tight pass by Mikhail. Set or dump by Langevin. Picked up by the Patriot. Tight pass. And it was the Patriot on the net there. Bit of a tight set. To the left side, Laurence Flamand, unable to avoid the net on that point. And now Max Langevin is back to serve for the GGs. Nineteen seven, the GGs lead here late in this first set, in this third set, looking for their first win of the season. Saint Amand to the middle for Marois. Good dig by Langevin. Jones puts it to Fournier. Continuation there. Saint Amand goes to the middle for Marois. Her tip, bit of a miscommunication, and the tip goes wide. Point to the GGs. It's a great dig by Langevin there on the middle swing from Marois, just getting her hands up in front of her face, maybe in self-defense. But nonetheless, a great pop-up. GGs able to keep the rally going, and they go on to win it. Now the float from Langevin. Taken by Gauvin. saint Amand goes to the left side for Flamand. Off the hands of McKay, popped up. Langevin to McHale on the right side. Good pancake there by the Patriot. Patriot arguing that the ref might have blown the whistle a little prematurely, but ball found the floor nonetheless, and the GGs take the point. 21-7 now, their lead in the third. Another good serve from Langevin, taken by Gauvin. Block in the middle by McKay. Continuation setter dump by saint Amand. Jones steps in to set the out of system ball after the dig from Langevin. Swing from McHale, but it goes just long, and that'll be a point for UQTR. Good defense by the Patriot on that one. Force the miss by the GGs. And now it's Rachel saint Amand to serve. Her spinner. Good serve, great pass by Bristow. 
McKay tips it over. Saint Amand, left side ball for Flamand. Push deep, but another good dig by Bristow. McHale on the left side, continuation. Setter takes the first ball, so the libero will set the out of system. Swing by Flamand. Langevin goes to the left side for McHale. Deep tip picked up by Gauvin. Saint Amand to the right side for Massaud. And her swing goes out. Good lead by Michaela Jones there, not taking that ball when it was out. And the point goes to the GGs with Haven Fournier back to serve. 22-8 the lead here for the GGs. Ball into the tape from the hands of Haven Fournier on the serve. And that'll be a point to the Patriot, 22-9. Laurence Flamand, the server for the Patriot, looking, if not to win this third set, at least to make it competitive, as the GGs have a commanding lead. Flamand's serve, picked up by Fournier, long run for Langevin. Fournier forced to give an out of system ball over. Massaud with the free ball take. Now the right side ball, lefty swing, picked up by Fournier. Langevin goes to the middle for McKay, and there's a kill for Janae McKay, extending her team lead on the day. And her reward is to go back to serve now. Danica Robert in the front row. And as will come Cameron Giddens. She'll go serve for Janae McKay. The lead 23-9 for you, Ottawa. Traditionally late in sets, teams will start substituting out their middles on their serve, looking to get some better defense in the back row. So the GGs are hoping Cameron Giddens will provide. Long run for saint Amand following Giddens' serve. Good dig by Fournier. Langevin to the right side for McHale. Block continuation. Giddens takes second ball. McHale once again. Another block. This time Giddens picks up the dig. Bristow rolls it over into the pot. Great dig by O'Grady. Flamand with the pipe swing. And it's off the hands of Fournier and out. Fournier looking upset with herself on that one. Might have thought that ball was going out, but it will be a Patriot point. Ariane Marois, the middle, will serve for the Patriot as they trail the GGs 23-10 in this third set. Fluter from Marois, picked up by Mikhail. Langevin in the middle for Robert, and a kill for Danica Robert. Big swing there from the middle, manages to get the waterfall. Good to see Rabail swing with some confidence on that one. She had a couple opportunities in this match where she's tipped, but great to see the big full swing on display there from the middle. And she gets a point out of it. Now a match point for the GGs at 24-10. Mikhail's serve goes just long, and the Patriot will live to fight another point. 24-11 now the lead for the GGs as they look to close this one out in three sets here at front of their home fans. Massaud, the server for the Patriot. Good pass by Jones. Langevin out to the left side for Bristow. Well dug. Roll shot over from Gauvin. Good dig by Mikhail. Langevin to the left side for Bristow once again. Another good dig out of the back row. This time Flamin reaps the benefits of her own dig. Langevin with the dump, and that will do it! Setter dump from Maxime Langevin on match point. And that will give the GGs their first win of the season, a 3-0 sweep over the UQTR Patriot. 25-22, 25-21, and 25-11. Big win for the GGs. Great game to get them into that win column. They now sit at 1-2 and two on the season. And they cheer on their home fans, saying thank you for coming. And thank you for watching. GG's got their first win of the season against the UQTR Patriot 3-0. On behalf of myself and all the other staff here at Montpetit, thank you for tuning in and have a great rest of your afternoon.